Hey guys, this is Brent Boyer here from Adam again. So I wanted to talk about taxes and when it's tax season and you're trying to figure out what should I do? Do I file a joint return? Do I file a separate return? Do I need to worry about where my deposit or uh, tax refund is going to be going? So these are all good questions to be considering if you're going through a divorce or if a divorce is imminent, you know a divorce is coming. So first of all, do you file a joint return? Do you file a separate return? That's going to be dictated number one by what you've done typically in the past if it's been typical for you if it's been status quo to file a joint return with your spouse you normally are going to need to do that so the court's going to expect you to do what you've typically done now if the two of you aren't on the same page anymore or your wife has her own tax issues from 1099 problems or being self-employed whatever it may be you have the option of filing a married filing separate return it's certainly possible but you'd want to get some advice about that from a CPA. And you can always keep in mind, you could file an amended return down the road if you're not sure what to do and you're on a deadline and you want to get things going, you're waiting for a refund, whatever it might be. It's always possible to file something else at another time, uh, file an amended return. Another issue to concern when you're thinking about tax returns and filing jointly or filing separately is okay where's my tax refund going so if you've been using the same accountant every year for example or you've been filing your tax return and you have it set up with the IRS where the electronic deposit is going to be for your tax refund you need to look at what account is that is that a joint account and you're afraid your wife is going to go in and take the whole refund as soon as it shows up well then you might need to think about that you may need to look at getting a paper check for a refund or you may need to look at doing a different bank account to have your refund go to, not because you're gonna steal the money, but because you're trying to protect the money. So that's another strategy, another concern people typically have with tax season and filing returns and divorce is coming and we're not on the same page or maybe you're not even talking to each other right now. Something to consider there as well. There might also be an issue here of you're already divorced and it's set up with who's gonna claim the exemptions for the children every year and maybe you've got an ex-spouse that's not cooperating with that or she claims the kids every year even though you're supposed to get them that year or every other year, whatever it might be. Keep in mind you should get some advice about all of that. Talk to a lawyer, talk to a CPA, and it's always possible to file an, an amended return or require her to file an amended return or require her to pay you the difference in the money that you're out of if there's a court order that says you get the exemption and then your wife, ex-wife went and uh, and took the exemption from you. So those are some ideas here, some things to consider, what clients are facing at this point when it gets to be tax season, what are some of the issues. If there's any questions, of course, give me a call or send me an email. And uh, of course, please hit like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.